first, we have a special report from TV Tokyo's World Business Satellite. We meet some young engineers developing software for autonomous driving, which has been adopted by more than 200 companies in Japan and overseas. Take a look. A taxi drives along a city street. A closer look shows there's no driver. Inside, the steering wheel is turning on its own. This is actually part of a practical trial of self-driving taxis. How exactly is it moving? Meeting us is Shinpei Kato, a developer of autonomous driving technology and our so-called game changer this time. This is a test vehicle. We're using a typical taxi you see on the roads. In fact, this car has sensors and cameras fitted across its body. What's more, there's a mass of computers loaded into the trunk. We went for a ride. It's setting out. It just started moving and the steering wheel is moving automatically. The driver is not involved in steering the car at all. How does the steering wheel move automatically? The car enters an intersection. The driver's side monitor displays an unusual map. You can tell by looking at the screen how many cars are in the vicinity, for example, and how many meters away they are. The computer is calculating the information quite accurately. The monitor shows trucks detected by sensors and other devices. Artificial intelligence on board predicts the best route to take. Even the movements of pedestrians are displayed. The car makes the turn at the appropriate time. But things like this can also happen. The car comes to a sudden stop. It mistook the signal as being red and tried to stop. It's important to repeatedly carry out tests like this so that a mistake like the one earlier is recorded into AI. Mr. Kato leads a company called Tier 4, which develops self-driving software. It's an entrepreneurial venture with about 200 employees, but competes with the top players in the world. Well-known companies such as Tesla and Google are all working on autonomous driving technology. A single company like Tier 4 can't win against companies of Google scale. We adopted open source so that anyone can use the programs we developed. The strength of this game changer is open source autonomous driving technology. Big companies such as Google invest huge sums to develop technologies in-house. They aim to develop closed technologies to grab market share. In contrast, Tier 4 provides its base software free of charge and is pursuing an open source strategy. That has lowered the threshold towards self-driving, with more than 200 companies around the world, such as Intel of the US, adopting Tier 4 software. Google's self-driving car company has only been able to carry out trials in three states in the US. Tier 4 and its global partners 
have carried out trials in more than 20 countries. When the market is ultimately established, who wins and loses will rest on whether your technology is applicable across multiple regions. We believe we have an advantage in that regard. This March, Tier 4 signed up a powerful partner. Taiwan's Honhai Precision Industry, which announced its entry into the EV market last year. Honhai is involved in manufacturing iPhones and other products and is one of the world's biggest electronics companies, with annual sales topping $180 billion. Tier 4 self-driving software will be installed in EVs to be made by Honhai. There's also talk that Apple, which itself has announced an entry into the EV market, may contract manufacturing to Honhai, similar to the iPhone. It's entirely possible that a contract manufacturer like Honhai will make the Apple car. Partnering with a company like Honhai will significantly expand our business opportunities. What kind of future does this young game changer envision? Tier 4's technologies inside EVs around the world. That's the future we envision.